Ezra chapter 4, the Bible says in Ezra 4.4, 4, when the children of God were rebuilding the temple of God, it says, then the Samaritans and others of the people of the land discouraged the people of Judah and frightened them to deter them from building and hired advisors to work against them to frustrate their plans during the entire time that Cyrus, king of Persia, reigned. Now, remember, Cyrus was the one who had issued the decree for the rebuilding. They frustrated the plans, and this lasted even until the reign of Darius, king of Persia. And then when Ahasuerus started to reign, they wrote a letter to him that caused him to stop the work. They were told to stop. It says in Ezra 4, verse 23, as soon as the copy of King Artaxerxes' document was read, um, they went hurriedly to Jerusalem to the Jews and made them stop work by force of arms. Then the work on the house of God in Jerusalem stopped. It was suspended until the second year of the reign of Darius, king of Persia. I want us to pray this morning. These people had been given the go ahead by God and God had touched Cyrus. Cyrus had given them the go ahead, but their enemies stood against it. The Bible says they stood against them, they discouraged them, they frightened them, and they even hired advisors to work against them, to frustrate their plans. I want us to pray this morning that whatever God has started in your life, that Satan is discouraging you, is frightening you, has even hired demons and hired human beings to stop you, to frustrate your plans, that may God arise this morning and may every demonic plan be silenced in the name of Jesus. However way that discouragement comes, whatever wants to stop you from doing what God wants you to do, whatever wants to stop you to hinder the plans of God, that God has even sanctioned, but Satan is arguing with, Satan is fighting against, Satan wants you to give up, Satan wants you to throw in the towel. We come against all those evil plans in the name of Jesus. Father, wherever evil advisors have risen up against us to frustrate our plans, to frustrate the work that you've put in our hands, to frustrate our families, to frustrate our businesses, to frustrate our professional lives, to frustrate our academic lives, to frustrate our children, to frustrate our young people. Let that evil hand be broken in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, whatever wants to stop people to discourage them from doing your will. We come against it this morning in the name of Jesus. Every demonic power that seeks to frustrate, that seeks to control, that seeks to silence, we come against it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The Bible says they hired advisors against them to frustrate their plans. They even wrote a letter to King Ahasuerus so that the work would be stopped, so that it would not be a destiny helper anymore. They hired people and they stopped the destiny helpers. I want you to pray. Every power that wants to stop even your destiny helpers from helping you, whatever wants to stop, wherever the Satan has hired advisors against you, has hired men and women against you, has hired demonic powers against you, in the name of Jesus, we come against them. Father God, any demon on assignment against any of your children this morning, any demonic power that have been assigned, oh God, to bring frustration, we locate them by the finger of God. We bind all their power in the name of Jesus. Whatever is assigned against our children, our spouses, our family, Lord, our household, Lord, we locate them by the finger of God. We bind them. Any power sent to frustrate, whatever has been sent to frustrate, straight we arrest it in the name of Jesus father we come against it in the name of Jesus father where people are speaking into the ears of our destiny helpers to cause them to stop helping to cause them to stop doing what you ask them to do father God we pray in the name of Jesus that you silence the voices of the wicked ones in the mighty name of Jesus father we thank you in Jesus mighty name we pray amen and then when we go to chapter five, we see that the Bible says that prophets Haggai and Zechariah began to prophesy. The spirit of God 
moved them to prophesy. And then they began to speak to everybody. And the Bible says in, in Ezra 5, 2, the prophets of God were with them, supporting them, encouraging them. And these people began to get that zeal again to rise up and begin to rebuild. Let's pray this morning that let the Holy Spirit of encouragement touch every child of God, touch every young person, wherever people were, were drooping down. May Holy Spirit encourage, may Holy Spirit encourage our sons, our daughters, May he encourage our spouses. May he encourage our brothers, our sisters, everybody connected to us, our mothers, our grandmothers. May they be a spirit of encouragement in the mighty name of Jesus. Barnabas was called the son of consolation, the son of encouragement. He represents to us somebody like the Holy Spirit. May Holy Spirit encourage us in every area where we had given up. May Spirit of God give us encouragement in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, encourage your children. Any project they started that they've given up on, Lord, this morning may they take it up again. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. When we go to Ezra chapter 6, verse 8, we see that King Darius issued a decree. And he says, this is a decree for the rebuilding of the house of God. The full cost is to be paid to these people from the royal treasury out of the taxes of the provinces west of the river and without delay. In other words, when the king of kings wants us to do something, he will bankroll it. We will not be in lack. I want you to receive from God and say, Lord, I receive the provision for everything that you want me to do for you. Everything you want me to build. I receive divine provision. Father, the God, every project, every spirit filled project that you've asked the church to do for you. We receive the finances. We receive the provision. Lord, give us this day, our daily bread, what we need for this day, what we need for this day to be a success for this day, to be full of testimonies, uh, to be full of blessing, to be full of increase. Uh, we receive Lord, uh, we receive the provision for all oh God. You are able to give us this day, our daily bread. Uh, thank you, father. We will not be discouraged, uh, but we are encouraged in the name of Jesus. Thank you, righteous father. In Jesus mighty name, we pray. Amen. Finally, let's begin to command our morning from Job 38 from verse 12. The Bible says, since your days began, have you ever commanded the morning? We might not have, but our father has. And we are speaking this morning in his name. Let's command the morning in his name. Say, the Bible says, cause the dawn to know its place so that light may take hold of the corners of the earth and shake the wickedness of the night out of it. Let the earth be changed like clay. In your hands, begin to remold the day, remold the circumstances of planet earth to agree with the will of God. Let light be withheld from the wicked and let the uplifted arm of the wicked be broken. Let the will of God be done into our day. Father Lord, we thank you again for this morning of the 8th of July, 2022. Lord, we command the morning in the name of Jesus. We command the dawn to know its place. Day, O oh day, you must hear the word of God. You must only follow the voice of Almighty God, the voice of the messengers of God, the voice of the Spirit of God. You cannot listen to satanic programming day or day. We deprogram in you every program of wickedness. We shake the wickedness of the night out of the day. Any witchcraft, any sorcery, any enchantments, any divination, incantations, any spells, hexes, vexes, hoaxes, any weaponized smokes, we shake them out of our day. We cancel them by the blood of Jesus. Evil prophecies, evil pronouncements, evil decrees. Father, we cancel by the blood of Jesus. Any tree that our heavenly father has not planted into our day, we declare it uprooted and cast into the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, have people had any dreams that are not of God? 
Father, we join our faith together on the prayer line and we cancel every negative dream. We decree and declare it shall not come to pass. Have people been taken to evil realms while they were sleeping? Father, we purge those evil realms out of their body, spirit, and soul in the name of Jesus. Father, have evil realms been deposited into people while they were sleeping? Father, we purge it out this morning by the blood of Jesus. Evil seeds planted, oh God, we declare fire of God on those evil seeds. They cannot germinate. They cannot grow. Sicknesses, diseases, poverty, shame, disgrace, failure, frustration. We deprogram you out of our day. We declare this day a divine success in the name of Jesus. Your word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path according to Psalm 119105. Uh, the footsteps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delights in all his ways. Uh, wherever we go today, our feet are ordered by the Lord. God will delight in all our ways. Our brethren who are traveling, who are on the way, Father, we declare peace in the name of Jesus and journey mercies in the name of Jesus. We declare safety in the name of Jesus. They will go out in peace. They will return in peace. All of us going to work, Father, we go out in peace. We return in peace. To you, Lord, be the glory. We cover ourselves in the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the angels you've assigned to each and every one of us. Lord, we receive the grace to co-labor with our angels. None of us, oh God, will be pronouncing negative. None of us will entertain negativity in our minds, in our thoughts, but we will continually agree with you, Father. We will agree with the angels in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen.